Okay, so this is a very, very, very spontaneous video. I was not going to be filming the rest of the day. I've already filmed this video, which will be up tomorrow. The reason why I'm not posting it on Friday is because I was supposed to be filming something else, but I'm deciding to try and do this. We're gonna go out and we're gonna try some, try, try is keyword guys, try to find some giant fish. Now, I'm going with my buddy, Jason May. Sir, I will see you in a little bit. Avery? Bye! Bye bye, I'll see you in a little bit. You guys know I filmed with Jason quite a few times. We're, we're really only going after one thing, is to find the big fish. We're not going out there to find a bunch of fish, we're going there to find big ones. So if we can find the big ones, then I guess we'll make a video. Deep down cranks, deep down cranks. Yes. How many bags do I need? Real goals, how do I carry? Oh no. Oh, here we go. What's up? Good? Bad? You caught two already? I brought the least amount of rods I could think of. So knock out everything though. Well, you should have brought less than that because that's still too much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. Are we going to be throwing this or what? No. Sure? Maybe what later. Is, what has Jason got taught on here? Oh, okay. Yeah, we're good. I forgot that stuff. Look what I did bring though. Is it good enough or no? Too good. deep? If you tell me it's too deep, I'm screwed. That's the only. That's no, all. that's good. Okay, stuff. that's what I brought is the deep stuff. We'll try to catch some fish on everything. So Jason and I have one goal, as I told you guys earlier, is to find big fish. It's the only reason why we came out here. It is now 418. It is about 85 degrees or so outside. What do you think? About 85 or so? Yeah, about, about 85. We got water temp's gonna be probably around the same as it was, probably 70 to 73. It's 123 degrees. <laughs> that's actually what it says, doesn't it? <laughs> Dude, that, wow. I think it's, right there, 123. I think it's messed up, dude. No, it's not messed up. But they got the power plant running. Jason will be linked down below. He's a good guy. You guys have seen me fish with him, I don't know, 5, 10, 20,000 times. I don't know. He, we're not going to start off throwing deep diving cranks. We're going to start off with like Carolina rigs and probably, I would have thrown, assume he's probably going to throw a football head jig or something like that. So. All right, let's see if we can knock this out. 1,000% on the bottom. Oh, there it is. Got, got crushed on the bottom. Yeah, he's on right now. Hit it, smashed it on the bottom. Looks Look like it. he's coming up. Trying to. That was grinding on the bottom. Sand bath. Look at that. That's what, you, that's what you're looking for right there. That's Don't, what hit you. Seen a bunch of sand bass down there. What? Bad. Jeez. Yeah, dude, I was just grinding. All I could feel is do 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 do. Woo. Got the clay on the front. Hopefully, that's not all that's down there, dude. Nah, they're bad, that would suck. Another one. That one feels like a bass or a big sand bass. Look at that. Yeah, he's pulling. Yep. You just never know when you throw in that deep water, huh? Yeah. He's a. He's a de bass. decent bass, yeah. I'm gonna flip him. Here we go. go. Here we go, dragging a crank on the bottom. What do you think? Two and a half, three? Deep diving crank. Here we go. Jason's throwing a jig. Are you throwing a jig still? Yeah, I'm gonna here in a minute. He's throwing a jig. I'm throwing a. You guys have saw that same crankbait that just caught that, that little sand bass. Let's get him back in the water. Let's go right back at it. Yeah, dude, every single time so far. Let's see if we can make it three. But I could definitely, definitely, definitely feel that hard bottom. It's like... Yeah. It's cool when they pick it up. It's just like... Gunk. It's just like... Gunk. Yeah. We're in the same spot? We're just going down the edges of it first. Oh, another one. That's a better one. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, that, that could be... Unless I foul hooked him good. That's the third cast in a row right there. Oh. Don't tell me it's off. No. 
No, that was a good fish, dude. You lost it? Yes. God, he head shook. He was a big one. That was a good fish. There's a fish. That one might be a bass. I hope this is a bass because it feels heavy. Yeah, it's a, yeah, bass. It's a bass. It's about a four pounder, five pounder. Yeah, that's a good fish. Don't pop off. I'll, I'll take him. I love catching them deep. When you find them, it's so much fun. Just finding them can be a pain. That's a good fish. Oh, look at that head shake. You ain't coming off. It's a good fish, dude. Let's get him back in. There he goes. All right. Let's check. Let's check the line on here. All right, we're good. We are plenty good. Yeah, you're hooked up to it, dude. You're like the king of sand bass right now, dude. Man, you are getting it. I'll roll through with this uh, this deep diver. I'll pick up all the scraps. Ugh. There we go. There's a fish. There we go. Sandy? Ah, uh, largemouth bass on a deep diving crank. Bass with Whoop! Ah, there he is. Dude, we're having to sift through him to find that one that I lost. He's yeah, down there. Yeah. I know he's down there. I almost feel like I need to retie though. I don't know, that feels kind of sketchy. Yeah, I'm gonna retie. Good one? Sand bass. If it's a sand bass, we should have just done a catch and cook because you've caught like 40 of them. Let it be a sand bass. It is, isn't it? Oh, it's a largemouth. Fat. Look at that. God, that is a fat fish. That is a fatty. How much do you think it weighs? A couple pounds, two and a half? Look how, look how small the mouth is compared to the belly, dude. I know, his belly is freaking fat. Let's see that thing. Look how fat he is. God, that is a fat fish. That's why they're feeding on shad yeah, like that. that is so fat. Shad feeder. Come on. Just so everybody knows, we're fishing in 18 foot of water. Um, it is now, what time we got? We got 7.51, so it's real late in the day. The sun is going down. We found a hump out here, and we are just trying to, trying to exploit it with a bunch of fish on it, like tons of fish. Low end, we've probably caught 15 to 20 sand bass. Easily. Come on, crank. All of them can eat our crankbait. It's only the big ones, and them is big fillets, yep. boy. Look at that. Sand bass? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think that's a sand bass. If it is, it's a giant sand bass. I know you're a bass because you're trying to come up. Yep. I knew you were trying to come up. Oh, and you got a sand bass on. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Jason May, the king of sand bass. This is a good bass right here, dude. Go up. Oh, how fat he is. it's another fat one. Look at that one. Right there. Look at that. Fat. fat girl right there. That is a fat fish, dude. Holy crap, that's a fatty. Look how small the mouth is in comparison to the body. Yeah. All right. Oh, hey, what's oh. going on, Rod? Nothing, I'm just being stepped on. <laughs> Took us a little bit to find it, but once we did, it's like game over. There we go. Sandy sand bass, I think. Yeah, I think I'm dragging them through the water. Dragging something through the water. It's coming up to the top. It's a bass. What? Yeah, it's probably foul uh -oh. hooked. Yeah, yeah he's I foul hooked. I knew I was dragging something. My bad, dude. Okay. He's got the right mindset, though. I'll tell oh you what. Oh my god, that's a big one. You got a big one on? Yeah. Yeah. Like net? I should grab the net big? Uh, maybe. Possibly? Possibly. This dude's big. Is he? He's the mama. The mama we've been looking for. Mama. I'll have Told the net. We going giant fishing. Oh hey, look! I should probably get these off of here. Yeah. Huh? I mean, not giant. giant. Oh. oh golly! Tricked this, tricked me. He tricked me big time. So that's actually a pretty good fish, dude. Not bad. You're in deep water. Oh, look at the belly on him. They're all fat, God, they fat, got some fat, fat belly. Boom. You just never know when they're that when you're this deep though how big the fish is. Did he crush it or something? Oh yeah. Just demolish it. I mean when I hit when I hit him. Yeah. When he hit me and I hit him, it was just <laughs> what? It just went down. That's I mean awesome. there was no like he didn't even give. He just just took off. He went down to the bottom. Well, if you guys care, I'm throwing a 7-Eleven. What are you throwing? Uh, eight foot. You throwing an eight foot? We're throwing long, long rods, real long rods. That's what she said. But I'm using light line. I'm using 15 pound test on this. And this crank I'm using goes down to 19 foot plus. 
I ride on all the bills. I'll show you guys when I get this in, but I ride on the bills of my cranks. I don't, I don't remember the depths of any cranks. I don't know if really anybody does. If they do, they have one hell of a memory, but do you remember the depths of your, all your cranks? You do? Yeah. All right, well, I must be an idiot, but <laughs> I ride on all the bills on all of my cranks. I'll show you guys here right here. Yeah, see, all right, 19 plus. Yep. Oh, you just got crushed again at the boat? Right at the boat. Is it another bass or a Sandy? Oh, he came off. Oh. Bass, I think. oh, God. Oh, yeah. That could be a good fish, dude. I'm, I'm either foul hook something or it's a good fish. He destroyed it. Watch it be a sand bass foul hooked. But this fish, uh, no, it's not a sand bass. Look at the head shake. What I mean, yeah, but he's not coming up either. Dude, what I mean, absolutely destroyed it. It pulled drag right when it hit it. Yeah. yeah, there he comes. He's coming up. Or he was. I saw your line cut. Here he comes. He's coming up. Yeah. Don't jump. Here he comes. Don't jump. Don't jump. Here he comes. Don't jump. He's about to jump. No, he's not. Put him down. This is a good fish, dude. You need the net? I have no idea. I haven't seen him yet, but this is for sure a good fish. If it's not, I'm crazy, but that feels good. Hopefully he's not foul hooked bass. See? Whoa. Don't you do it. Don't you pop off on me, fish. Ooh, it's ah, a good. It's four a... and a half, baby. Not <sighs> bad at all. There we go. There you go. Four and a half pounder there. That's mm. what we're after, man. I don't know. I think that's a little bigger than four and a half, dude. This one fought like crazy. <sighs> dude, I'm telling you, that's five easy. Five pounds? I think that's five easy. I think, all right, we'll go five. I think that's five easy. Five pounds. I think it's a five easy right there. All right, there she goes. Ah, you're free. Boom, there we go. Yes, I love it. There we go. You got him? Yep. Good, I was about to say, man. We went right on top of that spot that we needed to. It's a bass for sure. Good one? It's about, I don't know. Oh, it's, it's just like we've been catching? Yep. Okay. I mean, so, I mean, it is a good Not one. A giant? Not a giant, I don't okay. believe, but it is. Oh my! Wow, a little bigger than I was expecting there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> There's yeah. Holy crap, this one just came up out of nowhere. The last one fought way harder than this. His mouth is wide open. He's got hooks. That's a fat fish, huh? <sighs> got him. There we go. Well, that's not a five, but. It's a four and a half one. right there. Dude, this is. That is another beautiful, healthy fish. Holy crap! Going deep, catching the beautiful girls. There we go. Cranking them out, dude. It's like right when we get on top of that ledge. I'm telling you. Every time, guys, we get on top of that ledge, there's only like, there's like a dinner plate on there for those bass. And they're just sitting there. I mean, look at that. Come on. There we go. Got her off. Thanks for the fun ride, baby girl. You're in the water. You can go. There she goes. All right. Man, we're losing light quick. Yeah. Need you to hook into a giant, dude. Mosquitoes are coming out. Get out of here, mosquito. Get out of here. Get out of here. Hockey. 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 All the time. What, now you just run one? Oh my. I was just reeling and just completely just stopped reeling. I didn't think you were reeling, were you? I, think I you wasn't. You were just I wasn't. Wasn't reeling. Did you hear it pull drag? Yeah. Dude, I wasn't reeling at all. I just completely stopped <laughs> reeling. Oh, it snagged him in the top of the head, I think. Sandbass? No, it's a large oh, one. It yeah, he just came up and crushed it when I was. <laughs> I don't know if he swam into it. It's not a bad fish. No. Oh, you got him foul hooked. That's called a quick release, ladies and gentlemen. He was 110% foul hooked. He just came up and swiped at it, I think. <laughs> he was 110%. I, just, I was like, Gus. the side of the mouth. I was like, this. What the heck are you doing? Crazy fish. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, just stepped on bullshad. Freaking mosquitoes, dude. Look at this, guys. Oh yeah, for all you guys that don't live down here in the south in Texas. Oh wow, that autofocus is real bad there. Look at that. Looks like lightning. Oh yeah. I thought thunderhead, there was a, baby. It's a, it's a thunderhead. I thought it was a heat heat lightning. You want to go in? You want to yeah, keep we're going? About to go. So this is last cast. Sure. These mosquitoes out here are. Uh, <laughs> look at this. Tell me they're not fishing on there. Look at that. 
Oh, all right, let's get in there. Mosquitoes are like, the mosquitoes are literally about to get like high, like I'm about to become a professional high kicker out here on the boat because it's so bad. This is what I come home to? Come on. I'll get with you guys after this. What the heck? Well, I am back with you guys. It was a freaking awesome way to end the day. Peanut butter and a raspberry sandwich with a big glass of milk and the Texas Rangers, Mike Napoli, who's a badass, just hit a three run walk off home run. Awesome. These just came in the mail. These are the uh, you know, neck scarf dealios, the hoo rags that we wear on our neck all the time. We got the Guggen Squad logo one that just came in and then mine, two different ones. First time seeing them, never even saw the design. He just sent them to me, I like them. So they're gonna be on the website. I also wanted to tell you guys why I was using that color crankbait today. These, these fish, they're feeding on on shad. That's why their bellies are big and that kind of good stuff. They're just big fat girls. And they're feeding on shad, so of course we're gonna use a white colored crankbait. And I don't know if mine was working better than his. Mine had a blue back and his was like a gray back with not so white on the belly. Mine was like white. His was kind of like a gray. I don't really know if that has a big factor or anything, but. That's what I was throwing. Throwing on that uh, 7-Eleven My Lunkers TV rod. I think there's actually a couple of those left. You guys want those? I'll go ahead and link them down below. Just for you guys, it'll be on, it'll just literally say the rod I used. 15 pound fluorocarbon allows it to get down there real quick. It was good. I'm excited. Deep water fishing's about to start happening on the lakes. I like that time of year. This is like something I, I get to learn too. Like I'm not like the most phenomenal deep cranking guy. I can throw a Carolina rig and a jig and keep up with the best of them, but when it comes to deep cranking, it's like an art. It really, it's an art. I mean, this, so this would be the summer that I learned how to deep crank really well. That's my goal. Anyway, hope you guys freaking enjoyed this video because I love doing these videos for you guys and love taking you guys along on these trips with me. So hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you tomorrow. I'm gonna enjoy my sandwich. Yeah.